can start me up today, Scott Steinberg. He specializes in strategic innovation and is also the president of BizDev is joining us now. And Scott, how has the pandemic affected businesses and entrepreneurs? Sure, I head up the International Association for Business Development. So we work with entrepreneurs and business owners in every space to help build their business. And as we see, more and more of them are having to constantly shift their business strategy and operating models on the fly. And of course, everybody is talking about making the move from the real world to digital. But the trouble is, as you go about digital transformation, it's not always second nature to most of these folks to know how to build an amazing website or create a cool e-commerce strategy. The good news being that thanks to technology, you now have entire online marketplaces, go-to resources like Fiverr.com, where you can connect with creatives from all around the world who can help you with every aspect of digital transformation. Tell us about how your company is helping out the situation. Well, I can tell you that it's going to cost about under $100 in many cases to get started. But what you really want to do is you want to build things fast, learn from them, and based on the results you get, you want to update, iterate, and improve your strategies to be more successful each time. The key is to differentiate. You really got to stand out. It's a crowded marketplace, and you really got to play to local audiences wherever possible and customers' fast-changing needs. But again, you've got all these tools like Fiverr.com and other online marketplaces that can really help you do that more cost-affordably than ever and faster than ever before. Is now a good time to start up a company? Oh, it's a fantastic time because you have more time than ever and more opportunity than ever because it's more cost-affordable and customizable than ever to take your brand online. So the first step would be to think about, are you offering a product or are you offering a service? And then on top of it, I would think about what creative assets do you need? A website, an app, an email newsletter, a video. And then what you want to do is you want to go on these online marketplaces or resources where you can find templates or off-the-shelf services, and you want to review different providers or freelancers, see how they've been rated. And you want to come up with project deliverables and milestones and build a working game plan that can help you get from here to there. What future trends are you seeing in e-commerce? Well, we're definitely seeing people's tastes changing very quickly. They're focusing more on essentials versus luxury items, and they're looking for things that are new and novel that really surprise and delight at a glance. So if you are offering things for sale online, whether it's products or services, you got to be unique, and you got to be keyed to what's happening in the news, what's happening with the times and current. But again, you can build things very quickly. You can try them and you can stay up to date more easily than ever. Once upon a time, the hardest step was the first step, figuring out where to get started. Well, guess what? Now so many great opportunities or solutions are just a click or call away. Well, thank you, Scott, for all those tips. Will do. Thanks again. Good luck with it. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.